peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Today I want to talk about false teachers. What makes someone a false teacher? This is something that you really need to know and to cry out for understanding on. And when I say that, please really do cry out to God for understanding and ask Jesus about everything. Ask him to teach you about these very important things. Um, you know, at, at, throughout my walk with Christ, when I try to expose to people, you know, the false teachers that they believe and that they love and, and uh, defend, it's very hard to get people to recognize who false teachers are. So I want to give this um, understanding that the Lord has given to me. A false teacher is someone who is preaching another gospel. That means the essence of what it is to know Christ, to walk with him, to be his sheep, his child. When you teach something that would cut you off from him, you are a false teacher. So, for example, if someone teaches that you can only read the King James Version Bible. They're wrong. The, it's not about the version of the Bible that you read, but that does not make them a false teacher. Uh, if someone teaches faith alone, that you uh, all you have to do is just believe is not about you know, showing any evidence through works. They're wrong and they're a false teacher. Why? What's the difference? The difference is, is that one teaching, you know, believing that you can only read the King James Version, King, uh, yeah, King James Version, that will not cut you off from Christ. It will not hinder having a relationship with him. But teaching faith alone is a doctrine that will send souls to hell because it cuts you off from a relationship with Christ. So that is what it is to be a false teacher. It's, it's another gospel. It's not a gospel that will lead you to Jesus Christ. Also, what would make you a false teacher is if you neglect to preach the whole counsel of God, that also will cut you off from Christ. That means you are giving half truths. Uh, for example, when you have people who Teach about the love and grace and mercy of God. But they do not teach about the severity of God. That can cause you to be cut off from Jesus Christ. Because we know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, the beginning of knowledge. So what's not said uh, that you must repent, turn from your sin, stop sinning, uh, do not commit willful sin. These things not being said, not being taught by someone would make them a false teacher as well. So the word teaches us and tells us that not many should be teachers. You know, God takes souls very seriously it's not a game to him and you know a lot of people today they teach because they 
you know, for, for many reasons. But the reason has to be that you love Jesus Christ and that you care about what he cares about. And there are some people who believe that getting one thing wrong makes you a false teacher. But the Lord has shown me that that's not the case. And, and, and it's according to the scripture. Uh, uh, what was it is Romans where Paul, by the Holy Spirit, he, he says that you have some Christians who, you know, they pay attention to every day and you have some who. Uh, look at every day alike. Now, there's one truth because the word tells us that that is a weaker Christian who, you know, pays attention to days. There's one way. There's one truth. The truth is, is that every day is the same in Christ, that we are free. But just because a weaker brother, the word says, or sister believes that they should pay attention to certain days that we should not despise them and we don't cast them out and, and, and you know, say that you're not a brother or sister because you believe that. Or you have some I've seen some brothers who say that you shouldn't watch uh, TV or you, you got to dress this kind of way. Yes, they need greater understanding. They 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 need correction. But that doesn't make them a false teacher in God's sight where you will be cut off from Jesus. You will be cut off. You know, your branch will be cut off and you will be burned. So, you know, I wanted to give this understanding. It's a very important understanding that you recognize false teachers and that you cry out to God for discernment because there are many. The world is overrun with them and uh, they preach doctrines of devils. Once saved, always saved, uh, covered by uh, the blood. You know, you have to be able to hear what it is they're truly saying. And it's not the true gospel of faith that works by love, obedience from the heart, a true godly, sorrowful repentance. Uh, hearing Jesus Christ, building your house on the rock and following him, being obedient. That's the, the that's the truth. That's what it cost to be a disciple of Christ, to give up your life in this world. To hate your life in this world, he said. So, again, uh, really, really, please cry out for discernment. Cry out to God for his way and his truth. Be blessed.